you are going to learn how to create an onboarding page like this on your Flutter app. Check out this awesome indicator. It's amazing that it only needs 10 lines of code. Plus, there is a cool surprise waiting for you at the end. So, let's dive in. The onboarding page is created, which is a stateful widget, and it returns a scaffold. That's why the screen looks blank right now. Over here, we have our demo data, which we are going to use later. In the scaffold body, we'll start by defining a column. Next, under the aspect ratio, set the ratio to 1. Then, we'll add the illustration, which is a SVG image. For now, we are fetching the first one. Next, let's add the title. Inside the text widget, we'll put the first title. Set its style to title large and set the font width to bold. Then, create a gap of 16 between the illustration and the title to make it look perfect. After that, add another gap of 8 before defining the details text. For this text, set the style to body medium and align the text to center. With this, 30% of our work is done. Next, let's extract this column and name it onboard content. We need three parameters here. All of type string, illustration, title, and text. Yes, all are those are required. Then replace demo data illustration to illustration. And do the same for the title and text. Don't worry about the error. We'll fix it very soon. First, let's wrap the onboard content with a builder, which is a page view dot builder. Then rename the builder to item builder and add the index. The item count will be the length of our demo data. Now for the onboard content, the illustration should be demo data, index, illustration. And do the same for the title and the text. As you can see, we can slide to view the next page or you can set the next content. With this, 50% of our work is done. Let's complete the rest. Wrap the page view with a color. Now it shows a blank screen. Don't worry, just wrap the page view with an expanded widget. And that the problem is solved. Next, let's add an elevated button. For now, we'll have an empty function for unpressed and the child is a get started text. I want all letters to be uppercase. As you can see, it's not visible properly. So let's create some free spacing. I'm going to use a spacer. The UI breaks. No problem, just go back to the onboard content, then wrap the aspect ratio with an expanded widget, and everything should be fine. It's taking up too much space and doesn't look as great as you can see. But the great news is we have the solution. The first step is to wrap everything with a safe area. Then I need more space at the top. So I'll add a spacer and set its flags to 2. Okay, it looks very weird. Oh, I made a mistake. On page view, instead of expanded, use a sized ball and set the height to 500. Now this is what we are looking for much better but not perfect it's time for the dot indicator let's define an animated container and set the duration to 300 milliseconds the height is 6 and the width is 24 inside the box decoration set the color with an opacity of 0.25 the last thing is to add a border radius of 26 to all sides Then add a spacer above it and another one below it, both with a flex of 2.
Now come to the gift. This onboarding screen is taken from our food template UI kit. The awesome news is from flutterlibrary.com, you can download this $30 premium UI kit for free. It's only for limited time, so grab yours now. Thanks for watching. Bye.